Hello dear students. I think you are very feeling very bored because of this lockdown, right? Okay, I will make you happy by learning physics. I think you all love to learn physics, right? Okay, let us start the 12th physics unit 1 electrostatics. Electrostatics, this is your first unit. Okay, you all have taken so many assignments or so many printouts, so many uh, Xerox copy of your assignments or study materials, whatever may be. So, when taking, do you ever think what is the science behind that uh, Xerox machine or the printout? The science behind that is electrostatics. It was found out experimentally by the scientist Coulomb, right? So, before entering into this unit, let us discuss what is meant by electrostatics. So, electro, what is electro? Electro is nothing but electric field due to charge. So, electro means, this electro means electric field due to charge. Okay, statics, what is statics? Static means at rest. So, we are going to study about the electric field due to the charge at rest. That is, here we are going to study about the charged particles which is at rest. Right? So, in this unit, the topics we are going to cover are In this unit, we are going to cover the topics of Electric charge, properties of electric charge, Coulomb's law, electric field, electric dipole, electric flux, Gauss law and its applications, capacitors and capacitance, distribution of charge in a conductor. So these are all the topics we are going to cover in this entire unit. So let us start with the first topic. That is electric charge. So, this is the very first topic of this unit. That is electric charge. So, when you talk of a charge, what comes in your mind first? Think of it. I am sure. When you talk of charge, you will remind about the charging of your mobile phone or charging of your battery or charging of the laptop, so and so. Because we are, come up, we are coming across in our day to day life through these charge. So definitely you will come to remind that charge means it will come to your mind that is about the charge. So what is this? What is this charge actually? So this is charge is what is electric charge? That is what we are going to study in this entire unit. You are feeling, oh, I don't know about anything about charge, right? Don't worry. In this entire unit, you are going to study all about this charge. Okay. Here we will study what the charge is, what is the cause of this charge, what are the effects of this charge, and so and so when we go ahead this unit. So, before I define what is electric charge, how do we measure the electric charge? What are the causes of the electric charge? Or what are the effects of this electric charge? Let me introduce or let me explain some examples or day to day examples of phenomena so that when I explain you this concept, you can able to relate with that example and you can easily understand that concept. So let me give you an example, right? You all have attended a birthday party of kids or your friends or so many, somebody, right? So, in that parties, you have seen so many colorful balloons, right? So, when you see the balloon, some of the balloons are stick to the wall with cello tape or gum or something else. You may notice that some of the balloons have not, that means they have stick to the wall without applying a cello tape or a gum or anything. Have you noticed have you ever think what is behind that? We can even stick the balloon in the ball using or rubbing the balloon with your shirt or 
with a piece of cloth if you rub the balloon with a piece of cloth and keep it near the wall it will stick to the wall right have you ever experienced that if not you can experience you can do it at home and you can experience that what is behind that it is because of the electric charge right confused right from where and what this ma'am is saying it is electrically charged the balloon is electrically charged how the balloon gets charged there is no battery there is no uh, current or anything is how this gets uh, charged so we will talk all about this when we go ahead this unit right similarly when you take a comb and comb your hair and bring the comb near the pieces of paper you can see that the comb will, that is the piece of paper will get attracted towards the comb if you have ever noticed that you can try it at home the reason behind is here also it is because of the electric charge right so because of that electric charge the piece of, if i am telling that it is a piece of paper you don't experience that using a note or book right you, you have to uh, do it with a little bits of paper you can see the bits of paper get attracted towards the comb the reason behind this again the electric charge right so now i think you are all eager to study about this charge how the comb get charged how the balloon get charged right yes we can see it in the next slide thank you